هذا القرآن يوحدنا لطريق الخير يوجهنا الله تعالى أنزله ورسول الله معلمنا ورسول الله معلمنا 13 contestants have made it through to the semi-finals of the National Kura'a competition but only four will get a place in the final. So what are we looking for in contestants in the semi-finals? Well, semi-finals when it's get, it gets really intense. So by this point, we would expect the contestants to have gone through the telephone rounds and then they would have come to the studio and gone through the knockout rounds. So they would have a feel of what the uh, atmosphere in the studio is like. When you have cameras and lights and the judges sit in front of you, it's not very easy to perform at your highest standard. So we know that, so we expect that. But when you're in the semi-final, we want to see the best out of the best because the finals is going to be top quality and we are looking for the best recite in the country so it does get a little bit intense um, I would expect them to prepare thoroughly n make hardly any mistakes and every single mistake a contestant makes goes against him because there's always another two contestants who are looking to outperform him so the stakes are very high there's only one person that will go through to the final from each episode so it is quite a challenge and which is why we are looking for the best recite in the country. Let's find out about our first contestant. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Masha. Come on in and follow me and let me tell you a bit about me and my family. This is my dad and this is my uncle. Maisha Mariam entered the National Kirara competition back in 2016, at the age of nine years. Assalamu alaikum, Aisha. How old are you? You're nine years old, am I right? Fantastic. And whereabouts do you come from? Camden. From Camden, mashallah. Despite not making it through previously, it is clear to see Maisha's determination and persistence in the competition now. A'udhu billahi minash rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. She entered the competition again at the age of 10. She was invited to the studio on the second week of the knockout round. Although she was not made a winner, the team felt she was a worthy and strong contestant and deserved a second chance. Maisha Mariam, uh, I remember she was one of the early contestants in the knockout rounds and uh, bless her, I think the nerves kind of overtook her. I, I felt really, really bad for Maisha because I could tell that she's got it in her. I could tell the talent was there and the performance would have come. But I think the first time you're in front of a camera and you meet the judges for the first time and then the, there's lights all in your face and you kind of, uh, you get nervous. And when, once uh, you get distracted by the nerves and everything else around you, <coughs> it can really kind of distract you from reciting and I think that's what happened in the first but I think she came back and she was given a second chance by our judges because um, we thought that talent was there so it deserved a second chance and she came and she gave a stunning performance after that. Uh, Maisha you did actually uh, join us previously so inshallah ta'ala uh, we will uh, hear from you again inshallah you did really, really well last time. She was invited again to the studio on week five of the competition. <laughs> Both the judges and Sultan were surprised with her performance. Well done again uh, to all three of our contestants. We had young Zakaria, we had Sharia as well, and we had Maisha, mashallah, who came back and did even better than the last time. Alhamdulillah. And, uh, so the decision. Uh, in our estimation, uh, Maisha came first, Mashallah. Zakaria came second, but because both of them did exceedingly well, inshallah, we'll let go <coughs> both of them, Maisha and Zakaria, inshallah. The pressure of the competition is only making Maisha stronger and a lot more confident. I've been to other competitions which helped me boost my confidence, so, and because I'm trying my hardest and with all the support from my parents and my uncles and my teachers, um, I think I can do it. وَالَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِمَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكَ وَمَا أُنزِلَ مِنْ قَبَلِكَ I'm reading in small parts so then I know it, so then I don't have to do it in one chunk and then it will be easier for me and I'm listening and reading like um, Sheikh Mishari 
I feel ecstatic and happy because this is the best thing in my life that's happened to me. The competition, I think, will encourage children to be more um, engaged with the Quran. It should create uh, more of a love for the Quran, uh, especially with the recitation, you know, encourage them to recite the Quran better. And, you know, I think it's very important that the kids nowadays that they had some sort of connection with the Quran. And I think the program is doing that. Is full or empty mouth and wide? It's full mouth. Full mouth because it has what on top of it? Fatah. Well done. Very, very good. MashaAllah. Very, very good. Alhamdulillah. Thank you for coming. Come again soon. Assalamu alaikum. Our next contestant is Muhahid Akbar. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muahid. Please come in. This is my little brother, and this is my little cousin. <laughs> and this is my uncle, Rizwan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum as salam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. He entered the competition at the age of 12 and is now 13 years. Wa alaikum as salam. My name is Muahid Akbar, and I am 13 year old from London. Muahid was invited to come along to the Islam Channel studio on the third week of the competition. Okay, inshallah. <laughs> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هل أتاك حديث الغاشية؟ He went head to head with the contestant Sumaya Ahmed. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم the effort and the energy he had put into his revision was clear to see on the day. This is what Muhahid told the Islam Channel filming crew about his experience. I started reciting three years ago, nearly three years ago actually, and I started at Queen's Road Mosque in London. I feel really, really great uh, and I actually feel a lot more confident now that I've actually gone through to the next round and also I feel like I've achieved something. I know around 14 juice, I've memorised that by heart. I sit down and it takes me about 20 minutes to learn a full page and uh, I read about one page every day. The person who taught me to recite Quran, I think it was when I went to Queen's Road Mosque and I used to study there. That's when I learned most of my Quran and I used to have a teacher there, his name was Mulana Iqbal and my uncle used to always uh, also be a teacher in that mosque as well. I'm focusing on uh, the feedback that the judge gave me. Uh, he said to be more confident and um, to give more eye contact to the judge and the presenter. I think I've got what it takes to, uh, to win this competition because I already know most of the Quran and I don't need to really practice uh, and memorize it for the competition because I basically already know it and also the translation because I've already done it once it gets easier and easier once you go through the whole process. I normally watch live prayers of Makkah on Islam channel and I listen to the prayers and he leads it and also my parents give me a lot of motivation you know and uh, you know they say that Allah will help you or uh, if you do something good like you know memorize the Quran. The hardest thing in the competition I think it was the the translation I was really nervous nervous about it that I might go wrong you know I might forget it during the competition. Let's hear from the judges now inshallah. So Shayukh have you come up with the winner uh, for today? Yes just to just file our judgment uh, uh, we judged yep. two Two one out of three rounds, Muahid won the practical recitation. Okay. Two rounds, and Sumaya won the theoretical tajweed session yeah. because she answered the three instantaneously, while he answered only one actually. Yeah. To be frank, so uh, Muahid, you need to work on the theory. If you would like to go further and further, your uh, recitation is good, mashallah. Yeah. And uh, Sumaya, you need to work on your maharaj. Your theory is very good. 
but you need to work on applying the theory into BigOS D theory without okay. implementing it is of not of much use. So overall, it's difficult to make a decision. However, we'll go because what matters is the final product, course, which is practical. So we'd opt for Muahid at this Muahid. particular time. Okay, inshallah. Jazakumullah khairan shayukh. So the winner for this round today is Muahid, mashallah. The best bit about this competition, it was winning the competition and going through to the next semi-finals and that sort of Gave, uh, it was a great feeling that I had. I would advise them to recite Quran daily because the more you read Quran, it will protect you from bad things. Allah will protect you. And also, you should also enter competitions like this because even if you don't go through and you win the, and if you don't win the competition, you will always have learned something at the end. Muahid, um, since the age of he's been very ambitious he doesn't get burnt out in other words like where he goes to learn you know he'll never come across a time where he comes home and he says oh do you know what I've had enough you know I can't do no more um, when you're doing hips it takes a lot of time in the masajid as well as your own private time you know um, you have to spend a lot of time at home learning the Quran you know spend several hours at times because I was a teacher myself um, I used to always tell my students that when you're learning the Quran, it's not my Quran, it's your Quran. You know, so if you're going to learn the Quran, you know, it's your responsibility. No one's going to spoon feed you and teach you the Quran. You know, it's your own responsibility, you know, to learn the Quran and recite it. You know, and if you're weak in, in certain aspects, you know, we can only guide you. You know, the rest is all depending on upon yourself. And like I said in Mohid's case, um, we didn't have to push him as as much, you know, because he was very keen as it is. And mashallah, you've heard his voice anyway. He's got a beautiful recitation, beautiful voice. And um, that was a plus point, I believe, you know, which helped him towards his Quran. It was nice of you to come along. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, come in. My name is Naeem and this is my family. Muhammad Naeem Ahmed is the last contestant we will be reviewing today. On my immediate right, I have Muhammad Naeem Ahmed, 10 years old. Assalamu alaikum. He came along to the competition on the first week of the knockout round. <laughs> Muhammad, along with Hawa Shaheed and her brother Ahad Shaheed, was one of the lucky contestants. All three were put through to the semi-finals as their revision and standard of recitations according to the panel of judges was of an exceptional standard. What do we have here? All three of you are going through to the next round. This is uh, uh, this is uh, first in, in this in NQC. So uh, congratulations to all three of you. Muhammad Naeem Ahmed, yes, a uh, very strong candidate. And I think that that first week I'm not going to forget for a very long time. Three exceptional performance, three exceptional reciters of the Quran, and he was one of them. Uh, for me, his melody, his uh, tune his performance and his consistency all stood out and I think the judges agreed as well that he, he, he gave a, a very very strong performance. What will be interesting is to see if he's able to uh, keep that consistent in the semi-finals and then the khutbah element will also add to the challenge. Um, does he implement that, the khutbah according to the Islamic principles of khutbah? Uh, is he able to balance uh, the Arabic and English khutbah which is not very easy to do? So these are the things that I would look for in Muhammad Naeem's uh, performance, inshallah. So, but again, uh, w with the uh, level of performance he's at, I, I don't think that should be a problem. And I, I, I would look forward to an exciting semi-final with him on board. Not only is his family encouraging him to excel in his kiraha, but he also takes out time to motivate himself. Uh, my name is Muhammad Naeem Ahmed. I'm 10 years old and I go to Bonner Primary School. I'll prepare by every day, I'll keep on reading the same thing that I'm going to do and then I'll test myself if I can do it. 
I've been practicing the Quran from about the age of six. My mum helps me practice. Uh, my mum motivates me and also my sister. I think I'll make it into the semi-finals because I've been working hard for it and I've been practicing a lot. One of the most difficult things has been when I'm practicing and then I make a mistake, I have to go over and go over it again and again. It feels a bit nerve-wracking but at the same time you feel excited. The surah that inspires me the most is Surah Tur Rahman. And why would that be? Because it's saying how powerful Allah is and all the, thi all the things He gave us. My name is Tanya and I am nine sister and I'm also a teacher. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Rahima Begum. I'm the nine's mother and I'm teaching him. He actually himself likes to get involved in competitions. He enjoys it. He enjoys um, com competing with other candidates and he also he finds it exciting. Even if he doesn't go through, he likes he likes to give it a try. So he usually himself does phone up himself and try. We do encourage him but he does it already. So uh, previously he's just called in and he goes through and then we're just, Alhamdulillah, we're happy with that. So then he gets called through to the next round. Uh, personally, I think um, learning Quran from a young age is best because they have a really sharp mind and quite a, a lot of them do have interest at that age. Whereas when they grow older, they're not very interested, they're more into games and other worldly things. So, young age, I think, between maybe six, seven, and eight, those ages, the perfect ages, because children have really sharp minds then, so it's easier for them to catch the Quran easily at that age. Every child is obviously different, and they, they, they get encouraged in a different way. So, as Naeem, if we, if we show him, um, other other young boys his age or even younger than him who have already completed the Quran or have very beautiful voices he, he gets encouraged by that a lot he sits there listening to them and he tries to imitate them as well so from there he does we, that's one of his main encouragement where he would like to recite just like that person or follows that person so he'll sit there even in his free time he'll sit there looking at video clips of Quran it is evident to see Muhammad's determination to compete in the national Kuraha competition as he has entered many other competitions of a similar nature. Assalamu alaikum, it's nice to see you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> ورسول الله معلم